Hey everybody, good morning. It's Saving Money with Jazzy. Just dropped the kids off at daycare. It's really dark out still. I'm so sorry. So, yesterday was nuts. We went, um, we actually like, usually on the weekends we have like, we usually meet up at my mom's house or my house or you know, we'll find something to do. So yesterday was crazy, like always. So we wake up in the morning and Ryan's like, um, wake up, you know, so we can have breakfast. I'm like, all right. I just couldn't wake up, I was so tired. Pregnancy's kicking my butt. So um, I wake up like around 10, 11, and then we call my mom to see like what they're doing. And my mom's like, we're Christmas shopping at Walmart. And I was like, let's go eat. Like I'm hungry. My mom's like, well, if you go to Denny's, um, their country fried steak's really good. I'm like, really? You didn't invite us? Just don't fit. Just to mess up there. Cause she's always talking crap to me when we go eat and I don't invite them. So she had already ate. So we were just, okay, well then we got ready and we went to go get my son from my sister's house. She, he spent the night over there with his cousins. Um, when we got him, um, and then met up with my parents, and I guess they were getting new tires for my mom's car or something like that. So we went there and then we went, where did we go? Sorry, we didn't even end up going anywhere to eat either. I just re realized that right now. We ended up going to my sister's house after and um, going there to eat because they had made like uh, spaghetti or something like that. So we went to go eat over there. Um, and I tried pulling out the camera because when my family's together, it gets crazy. And it's just funny. It's good. It's good watching. So I was trying to do that and everybody got mad. They're like, turn off the camera. Nobody wanted to be recorded. So they're going to have to get used to it because I'm going to start doing it. Um, so that happened and then we ate and then we were just waiting for my mom's car to be done. They called us, we left. Then I went to my mom's house to finish wrapping um, the gifts I got for my brothers and them. Um, Cause we had to take everything to my mom's house that we bought for the, for the kids or for them, you know, the ones that are for everybody. Cause we usually go there tw on the 24th um, and open those gifts that everyone got each other and we'll have like food or something. She's gonna make menudo Christmas Eve, but my mother, she always says stuff like that. Like, I swear, every year we're supposed to have tamales. Never get done. Fasola, never get done. So it's like, okay, Ma, are you making it for sure? And she'll just get mad. <laughs> but that's how it is. So we're doing that um, on the 24th. I'm going to record that so you guys can see everything that's happening on the 24th. Because usually it's fun. Um, then Christmas Day, that's our um, individual families, like, me, Ryan, Isaac, and Mia will go home and do our presents on Christmas Day, um, and then spend time at home. So that usually that's what we do every year. Um, so then this year, the 26th, I don't know why my daycare is not open, but I have to stay home the 25th and the 26th, which I do not mind. I would love that to wake up. I have to wake up early. But yeah, that's basically the agenda. So tonight, me and my son are going to do a video. Um, it's called, um, How Well Does My Son Know Me, right? Um, and he's excited about it. And then my husband, he's gonna, oh man. My husband's gonna do one with me. He's gonna say, how well does my husband know me? So we're gonna do those videos back to back, probably together. Um, and then my husband wants to make a prison spread mukbang. Hint, he was in prison. But it's really good. I like it. It's like, um, hot Cheetos, not hot Cheetos, but the jalapeno cheddar Cheetos those ones with ro top ramen and uh cheese the um cheese dip from like the reader or something that and and that and then some kind of sausage i don't remember what it's called yeah i don't remember what it's called but it's like sausage and then pickle in there and then you put it in a burrito and it's oh my god it's fantastic i don't know what the hell those things together but it makes it's so good so that's what those those are coming up. So watch out for those ones. I'm gonna do those three, um, and do a video on Christmas Day, um, just showing, you know, what the kids got and what we're doing that day. And that's pretty much it, guys. Like, and then as far as chit chat for today, um, update on Isaac and Mia. Isaac is doing better. You know, he's like yesterday we came. He he spent the night at his grandpa's house on Friday, and then Saturday he went to his aunt's house and got a haircut um, there because my sister's boyfriend does 
knows how to cut kids, uh, boys' hair, so he cut her hair, his hair because it was way long. And he wasn't going to let me take him anywhere. He would just find me about it, and then I don't know what happened, but he let them do it. So, good. It's a win-win for me. Um, so... Oh, yeah. Has your his teenagers, um, have broken out a lot, of, like, pimple-wise? Um, because Isaac, like, he... He let his hair grow out long where it comes over his forehead. And he would lift his hair up and all the pimples is right here, like on his forehead. And it was just hard. It was a lot. So right now that he cut his hair, you can see it all, like all the pimples. So I'm thinking about going and checking out um, Proactive. You know that um, the teenager one, I think it's called X Out. I don't remember, but there's like a teenage line. So I'm thinking about getting that for him, um, trying that out because he needs to clear his skin up. Really, it's, it's everywhere. Like he's getting pimples everywhere. Like, jeez. But yeah, I was not, I noticed that. I'm so sorry. Maybe I should stop somewhere. I feel like getting Jamba Juice. I'm having a pregnancy craving. I want Jamba Juice. Yeah, it'll probably wake me up too. So I was thinking the other, um, the other day, I was like, what am I supposed to be eating for pregnancy? Usually I don't, I just eat whatever I feel like, but I feel like I'm very dehydrated, like wanting water a lot, like water, water, water. And when I drink the water, I drink it like I haven't had it for a long time. And I was talking to a friend of mine and she says that that usually has, it happens when you get diabetes while you're pregnant. And I'm like, could I have that already? Like just barely weeks. But yeah, that's probably something I have to ask the doctor. But my doctor's not till like 10 weeks. You know, it's kind of mad because I'm like, why is it, why do I have to wait so long? 10 weeks seems like a long time for me. Um, and I guess it's just like to exit out, you know, like in case you get a miscarriage or something like that, right? To make the, the pregnancy final. But yeah, I'm probably going to look into the University of Utah, like where, you, where I went with my son. I just didn't like the doctor I got last time with, my, with Mia in the beginning because he was just very quick with it, like, in and out and then send you on your way. Like, I thought it was very quick. There's never, like, any talking or explaining what's going on this month or that month, you know what I mean? So I, I left to, I went to St. Mark's. It's just my insurance don't cover it, so I can't go to St. Mark's this time, so I have to shop around for new insurance. I mean, new, um... So, medical service oh my gosh but yeah today should be an easy day at work because it's Monday which is not too bad because we just have to work tomorrow Christmas Eve and just work um six hours so like seven to one so it's not bad like I don't I'm not complaining because then you get off on one and you have like all day to do go to my mom's house but I really I really wanted to sleep that's what I want to do. I feel like I haven't got any sleep because the weekends are hectic. Like you have to be have up early because Ryan wakes up early every day. Like even if he wanted to sleep in, he can't. Like he, wake, he wakes up. I don't know. It's a prison thing. But anyhow, so I'm gonna probably stop at Jamba Juice. Um, yeah, I think Jamba Juice. I want to go back. But yeah. Sorry, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. So, what I wanted to talk to you about today for the chit chat and the car ride um, is like siblings, right? Have you ever had like, I think it happens when it's multiple siblings, especially when they're older, or I don't know how it works, but I know in my family we've always had this issue like some siblings that don't get along, you know, and it's usually me and my sister Jennifer, we always butt heads a lot, you know. And it wasn't always like that, but usually, lately it's been like that. We butt heads, we don't talk for a while, and it makes the whole environment, you know, uncomfortable. You know, like we all, we can't be together at the same time in my mom and dad's house because we don't get along and blah blah blah. Like it's exhausting. So yeah, usually me and her are the ones that don't get along. And my two younger brothers, Victor and Daniel, usually don't get into anything. You know, we don't. We hardly see them because one's in the room playing and the other one's gone with their girlfriend. So we don't really see them as much to even have issues. And then my sister Jenna's crazy. So she's like, <laughs> she just had a baby. So 
she's a whole different character by herself, but yeah, usually I don't argue with her neither, you know, but it's just like, I think it would be hard for my parents, like I never like thought about it, but I was always like, you know, that sibling, I was like, why do you treat them this way and not me and my mama being jealous little kid? Um, and I don't know, I wouldn't even think like how hard it is for my parents to be able to, to, to divide their love between six kids, you know? So it's just crazy. I'm just like, how am I going to do that with these three kids? Like, that's what I'm thinking. Like, how am I going to do this? Like, to where I don't want one to feel out and one to feel, you know, spoiled because I'm giving them all the attention. But of course, the baby's probably going to get a lot of attention in the beginning. And my son understands that, you know, but I just don't know how Mia's going to take it because she's used to being the star player. So hopefully she doesn't change a lot, you know, because that would suck. I don't have to do that. Plus, so I want to put her. I want to put her in Head Start, which is like three. It has to be three, and she's only two. So, right when I have the baby, she'll be turning three in September. Because I think the baby's gonna be born like in August at some time, um, and then she'll turn three that September, and then she'll be going into that Head Start program. It's like pre-K. I know she's gonna love that because she's a very quick learner. She likes to learn about everything. She just has a very short attention detention plan like she just loses her she'll be doing something and then she'll get distracted or she'll be over it like in two seconds whatever she's doing so how oh, that goes oh man I stop yawning jeez why, you, why does it happen like what does that come from yawning I don't I wonder what that is if you know comment down below I don't know why you yawn like what causes that to happen? Like what makes your brain say yawn? I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, that's what happened this weekend. It was a calm weekend, you know, we got everything wrapped in. Last night, I don't know what the heck, like, cause we had all the kids' presents wrapped on Saturday cause Isaac wasn't there. So me and Ryan just went Christmas shopping and we wrapped everything that day. And you know, I don't know what it is. Is it a dad thing or what? But they want to always let them open the presents early. And so today, yesterday, last night, you know, Isaac was just like, can we open the presents? And I told Ryan, I told him, well, it's up to Ryan, you know, if you, he says open them and you guys open them. Like, I really don't care either way because it's just, we're going to be at mom's house on the 24th anyways and probably late and then get home really late and wake up really late on, on Christmas Day to even like do all that. So yeah, we just, the kids opened all their presents last night. I know. I know, it's way early. But they opened all the presents last night. Um, Mia made a mess everywhere with all her little toys. Um, and then Isaac, of course, he got all the things that he needed, like his control and headset for the PS4 and money for the games. And so him and Ryan were in there playing Mortal Kombat most of the night until they went to bed. So yeah, I guess it was cool. I don't think we're gonna last Christmas time this year anyways because the way that Ryan was like oh we all have open the presents and all this crap but yeah I feel kind of weird this morning like nauseous I'm like dang it's the first time I've woken up since I found out I was pregnant with like morning sickness like ugh first need to eat something but yeah I'm on my way to work hopefully it's not busy today or I don't know I don't want to deal with anything I wish I was home and it's just like, I can't, I can't afford for me to be home, so that sucks. I hate that, living like that. Hopefully I can do something to where we will be financially stable and we, I don't have to work. I want to stay home with my kids, really, to be honest. No one will take care of your children better than you would. You know, only you take care of your kids a certain way and nobody would take care of them that way. And I truly believe that, you know what I mean? So I'd rather just have my kids myself at home. But anyways, so later we're going to do those videos. I'm going to post those videos. Um, I'll probably use this one to be... Um, I put No, I'll use this one by itself. But yeah, I'm going to go to Jamba Juice. And I'll see you guys again. I'll get back on here with like grab the Jamba Juice. And I'll tell you guys what I got. Alright? Hey guys, save money with Jazzy again. So I'm having another pregnancy craving mukbang. So I went to Jamba Juice, 
I don't know why, but what the heck. They put all kinds of stuff in it. It tastes so good every time. Like, I don't really come here that much. Um, but I woke up and I was like, oh, I want Jamba Juice. Because I had it a couple times last week. And I was like, oh, I want Jamba Juice. So I got the Mango A Go Go. What's called one of the fruity drinks. Um, and it has just like pineapple, mango, just a bunch of fruit, strawberry, sherbet. It was delicious. So I'm gonna come to Chick fil A. I'm gonna be a fat ass. I can, I'm pregnant, right? So, mmm, this is shit is bomb. Mmm. Definitely recommend that. Hi, I just want to look at the menu really fast. What was that? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just going to look at the menu really quick. Oh, yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. Let's see. Could I get a, um, a burrito? Just one. Just a chicken burrito? Yes, please. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Awesome. That's going to come to 432, and we look forward to serving you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Uh -huh. They should, just really don't fucking play around, huh? With the little, my pleasure. And we'll look forward to serving you. Jeez. I never liked that. That's like overdoing it. Like, it's kind of fake borderline. Like, you have to say a script or some shit. Well, they probably get paid good, right? I better be. I'm just saying like a robot every morning. Is that chicken burrito? Yes, please. Thank you. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. This is way good. You know what would happen to me if I had to say my pleasure all day long? It would be permanently in my vocabulary. That was suck though. I know I used to work at the airport and they... One of the training was like, you need to say my pleasure, it's more polite, more professional. But come on. I'm from the ghetto. I don't use my pleasure. But you fucking thank you. You're fucking welcome. Basically. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got like acrylic. And don't you hate like when they start falling off, like you want to rip them all off? Like I hate when they're. I don't know why I get them, I always do this to myself. Thank you. Happy day. You too. My pleasure, guys. Again, when the oh my god. That's sad. This is my pleasure every time. I hate that. Ugh. Anyways. So, last night, I've been hearing about this freaking thing named TikTok, right? And I was like, what the hell is TikTok? Like, what is the big hype? So I go on there, and why does the TikTok have me all fucking night? Laying in bed, laughing at the people's TikToks, like, all night. Even Ryan. Ryan's like, babe, I have to go to sleep. I have to go to work tomorrow. And I'm like, babe, these are funny. Look at this one. Look at this one. I'm like, these are fucking hilarious. They're so funny, some of them. I like that kind of stuff. Sit there and just crack my ass up. They're funny. You know how I know it has pineapple? Because every time I eat pineapple, it like makes my tongue scratchy, like uh, itchy. Does that mean I'm allergic to it? I don't know. Because I don't really break out or be extreme. It just makes my tongue itch. But I love pineapple. It's the bad part. It's worth it. It's worth it. So usually I do this every morning. I have to be eating while I'm driving. It sucks and I hate it. But I like the burritos, guys. It's like they're fucking huge. They're like huge. Look at that. And I think it's like chicken and egg. You put it in there and some cheese. Then they give you some kind of hot sauce. Like I like it. It's like a not. It's not hot. It's just like something just to put on it. I don't know. I like it. I heard it last time. It's like a jalapeno salsa, but it's not hot at all. Mm -mm. Not hot to where like I need my drink. Mm. This shit is like shit, man. 
when I came the other the other day, well, it was before I knew I was pregnant. I came and got one. I had asked the girl, <clears throat> "What do you recommend? You know, I need to get some energy. I need to wake up first. You know, first of all." And she was like, "To do a acai one, antioxidant, whatever it's called. They have all this crap in it, like powders." Didn't really give me energy. Definitely not. I didn't even ask her to put extra. Mm -mm. I don't, maybe it, maybe it did, but I didn't feel it. Like if you would drink a monster and pound it, that kind of energy, I didn't feel that. But yeah, I like Dama Juice. I've never tried it before. Like my burrito. This girl. Hungry. I'm hungry. <coughs> That's one thing that I can for sure is like I can eat like when I'm pregnant. I eat, I eat, I eat. No stopping me. The only bad part about it is like Yeah. It's the chicken with egg. Perfect. Have you guys tried uh, chicken and waffles? What does that taste like? Why is it those two together? Hmm. I'm gonna try it out. Hmm. Damn the chicken. Yeah. The sucky part is at my little drive to work. I passed by all the food restaurants. Horrible. Mm -hmm. This is fucking delicious. It's like perfect for right, right now. Last night, I had a pregnancy craving like out of this world last night. So my husband went to the store with my son to go get milk for my daughter. So she ran out. And then I told my husband, go to 7 Eleven, get me a fountain drink and egg, some donuts, right? He's like, no, babe, I don't want to go to all these stores, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, really? I'm like, okay, go to McDonald's. Let's just drive away. Drive through. So he goes to McDonald's. I'm like, give me three McDoubles with Big Mac sauce and a large Coke. Talk about fucking pregnancy cravings. And I ate them all three. I ate all three. <laughs> it was so good. Like, I was, like, starving. It was so delicious just eating those. do with this from Valentina some top tilapia top tea or something like that definitely oh, sauce open so it's missing the only bad part is that they only give you one like that's supposed to be enough for this big ass burrito it's not That's how you know it's good. I'm over here for myself. Mm. Oh, they put hash browns in there. I didn't know that. It's good. The chicken's, I guess, good, huh? In anything? It's a mango. Oh, this is delicious. Mm. So good. That's a nice and spicy. Okay, I can fix the jalapeno now. Oh, 
aktuell jetzt wieder machen. Stabilität. Genießen. Ich hoffe, jetzt ist es hart. I don't remember it being hot last time I ate it. Oh, dang it. I'm probably gonna get heartburn. What do you guys get from Chick fil A? What do you guys like to eat there? I don't like. I wanna try their tortilla soup. Every time I, they don't serve it this early this morning, in the morning. Because I'll take one way to work on the way to work and then take a different way home. So, on the way home, I don't ever pass it. So, but I really want to try it. Tortilla soup. I think it has shredded chicken in it. But if it doesn't, it's supposed to. But the one who has the best tortilla soup is Cafe Rio. Oh my gosh, to die for it. They put like veggies in it. Oh. But really, the, I like this, the, the soup of it. I don't really like the, if it was just the juice of it, of the soup, I could eat that by itself. It's so good. Plus, Cafe has all kinds of stuff that's good. Everything on the menu is good. Hmm. We went there in a while. Is this like the tortilla? I don't know what kind they use. But... Yikes. I'm too close now. Christmas is going by so freaking fast. I don't mind it because that means I'm just getting closer to tax time. Tax time is fun. Pay all your debt from all year long. Stock up some clothing. Go out with the kids. Fun times. Plus we're getting married, so. We're going to Vegas. I've really been just wanting to go just to the capital and just get it over with. I think it's like too far to be waiting. And just have like a, some kind of like little house dinner or something. I'm not a picky girl. That would be okay for me. Mm. Dude, you guys, so good. 